The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Faith Chase aka Cross 6 aka Chosen Effect back on the deck and we wreck the set and don't you forget always a pleasure to be rocking and rolling for all you beautiful people around the globe. We're back with another one guys. This is a request from Laura and Laura wants to hear Queen and Adam Lambert the show must go on live at the O2 London UK. I think we'll do that version there. Um, so many versions to check out, um, but we're gonna do that one. Guys, this right here is one of my favorite songs by Queen. Um, this is going to be one of those songs where, Adam, you're gonna have to bring it because this is one of my favorite Queen songs. You guys who know me know I love this song. I absolutely love this song. And so I've never heard the Adam Lambert version. I've only heard it, you know, done Queen, the way Queen do it, you know, before Adam Lambert. <laughs> so you could have to bring it, Adam. I don't know, I'm very, very interested to see how this this sounds. So without further ado, from me, for all of you, we're going to dive in and check this out right here. The show must go on, Queen and Adam Lambert. Let's get into this. What the freak? <laughs> Sorry, technical difficulty. All right, hopefully it'll start playing now. Oh.
Wow. Oh my gosh, dude. That song, man. I, I, I love that song so much. The first time I heard that song, I instantly fell in love with it. And it's literally one of two of my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate favorite Queen songs of all time. You take my breath away and this song are my two ultimate, ultimate, ultimate favorite Queen songs. But I have so many favorite Queen songs, but uh, that song, I was, I was, I was like, okay, this is going to be so interesting to hear how Adam, you know, does with this song and you know needless to say adam carried you know carried his weight he does what he does I've, I've, i'm one of those people who believe that he does have a great voice he does have a great presence and i personally you know think that he does a good job you know he he does a good job doing what he does again yes we know he's not freddie he there's only one Freddy. There will always only be one Freddy. I know that many of you have this war with this whole Freddy Adam thing and Mark as well. But ultimately, I personally appreciate Adam for who and what he is, you know, as far as someone who's coming in and having to step into another band's lead vocalist role and not only step into any band we're talking about queen we're talking about one of the greatest bands of all time of all time and not just any lead vocalist you're you're stepping in to <laughs> a role held by one of the greatest vocalists frontmen of any band of all time as well this is a hard thing for anyone to do on the best of days even if you were freaking trying to step into some freaking high school band and they had freaking their guy for freaking five years and you're stepping in it is not an easy thing to do because people already have fallen in love with the queen they knew the band they fell in love with so you're now attempting to come into a role that is already you know it was a perfect combination it was a perfect mix that's not easy to do so that's why me personally i appreciate adam for his effort and and for him stepping up and and not just only stepping up but he he does a good job he does a he does an awesome job you know, and I, I enjoyed this. I actually enjoyed this. I thought it was a great, um, you know, version of this song. Um, it's, you know, obviously it's, it's different. It's different because one thing about Adam that I also like is that he does it his way. He doesn't attempt to sound or be Freddy. He, he, he's Adam doing Queen songs. He's not Adam trying to be Freddy doing Queen songs. And and I respect him for that. And and I think he, he does a fantastic job with what he does. And I appreciate him and I also love and respect Adam for the fact that he's introducing, he's keeping Queen alive with Roger and Bri Bri. He's keeping the dream alive. He's keeping the show's live opportunities for people to go and see Queen live you know, still to hear their music, to introduce it to new generations. You know, I think it's a beautiful thing. And most importantly, it's what Brian and obviously what Roger, both of them want. They want to continue the band that they've been doing for, what, 50 years now or something like that? I think it's a beautiful thing to be part of that, to see that still moving forward like the song says the show must go on and freddie would have wanted the show to go on he would have probably liked adam i think he would have loved adam i think he's up in heaven looking down going adam freaking killing it doing a great job 
That's just my opinion. And each and every one of you are entitled to yours. But this is a topic that not everyone ever is going to see eye to eye on because you're always going to have the diehard Queen fans who just will not accept anybody to come in. It could be anybody on the planet and they're just not going to accept it because it's not Freddy. Then you're going to have the people who do accept it and think it's freaking awesome. And then you're going to have the people who are just kind of in the middle. They're like, eh, it is what it is. You know, it's not great. It's not bad. It's just, it just, it just exists. You know, you're going to have those type of people as well. So to each to their own. That's the beautiful thing about art. Okay. Music is art and it's open to interpretation and it's going to hit and impact everybody in a different way. It would be weird and pointless if it didn't. If we all felt exactly the same every time a song came out, there would be no need to make any more songs because we all would just love the one song that came out originally and we'd all be like, that's all we need in our life. You know what I'm saying? So it's important to be you and let it hit you and move you the way it moves you and to each to their own. And that is awesome. But respect others' opinions as well because I've seen it in the comments so many times. I mean, there's arguments, heated arguments. Where people are like just, you know, getting really crazy about how their opinion is based against how someone else's opinion is. It's like, dude, we need to respect each other's opinions in life. We might not always agree with someone else's opinion and we definitely might not like some of the things they think are fantastic, but it's important that we have a mutual respect for people and understand why some people feel the way they do. This is why we have a lot of the problems we have in the world today, because people are not willing to be patient and understanding and respectful to other people's views or, you know, giving them the opportunity to have a right to speak their own voice and have their own opinion. Too many people won't allow that to exist and therefore it causes a lot of negativity and unneeded arguments and things that didn't need to be you know but anyways guys let me know <laughs> let me know if you guys enjoyed this version of the song in a peaceful way in the comments below let me know did you enjoy this was it fun to listen to um i personally enjoyed i thought it was great and it was also interesting because you know, all the versions of this song that I heard were the older versions of this song. This also had Brian and Roger performing this song in recent times with recent more, you know, the, the technology that exists now is different from back then. And so a lot of the sounds, the effects, the different things that are going on to add to the whole show is also a whole different thing and it's it's to me it's just wow it's great it shows an evolution of a band that is continuing to evolve with music and to keep moving forward and i think that's a great thing so let me know what you guys think i love you i appreciate you i'm in this one here so yeah remember which one to the fullest and keep it off tap and keep it respectful <laughs> all right i love you peace